hi everyone thank you for joining me today um i'm with Sri Ra Sri Raj <laughs> he literally yes. just told me how to say his name and I just got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> with, can, you can call with, me Sri, that's fine. <laughs> with Sri. So Sri, um, Sri is one of our international nurses who's kindly agreed to talk with me today. So Sri, will you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, please? Um, I'm Sri Raj uh, Raju uh, from Kerala, India. Yep. So I have been here since last uh, five months. Yes. Approximate five months, I think. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I have passed my OSCE uh, last month. Okay. I got my pin. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I'm happy. Anyway, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Good. I'm enjoying. Yeah. And you're working at Torbay Hospital, is that correct? Yes, yes. I'm working at Torbay Hospital. It's Warrington Ward. Uh, it's basically a uh, ENT ward. Uh, usually, we would receive uh, surgical patients as well as um, gynec. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. So tell me a little bit about the um, the beginning of your process. How was that for you? Oh my God. It was a long journey. I, I think, uh, you know, um, it had been, uh, I think it had take a lot of time yeah. to complete my process, actually. Yeah. So um, I have passed my o uh, I have passed my OET examination in uh, 2019. Okay, yeah. Um, no, sorry, uh, 2020, uh, November. So I started my processing at um, on uh, December uh, 2019. And I have completed almost my uh, NMC process at uh, January. Uh, I mean, I, I'm in second stage, then only I got the interview from uh, Tobey Hospital. Yeah, I think it's March um, second or some, some like that, because there there was a uh, problem with uh, COVID restrictions and a lot of problems related to COVID. So my interviews are uh, delayed uh, from yeah. my agency. So uh, at last I got interview from the Tobey Hospital at March. Uh, I think I got an uh, offer letter at March 6, 2021. Yeah. But later, uh, there, <laughs> there was a huge gap between my COS and the offer letter. So I have received my offer letter on the next day of the interview after pass the interview. Right. Like, um, like uh, seventh, I think seventh or eighth, I have received my offer letter. So since then, I have been waiting to get my COS, but it was a long, long waiting. <laughs> it so, was. Um, so in between, uh, the cases has cases has increased gradually in India as well as uh, NHS has resumed uh, their uh, recruiting from uh, India. Yes. So it also uh, caused uh, delaying in my processing. With but uh, fortunately, fortunately, after a long time uh, later, so I have received my offer letter after six months. I think yeah. after six months, five yeah. to six months, I have received my offer letter. But when I received my offer letter, thereafter, the processing was very smooth. And um, within uh, three weeks or two weeks, um, I ended up here. <laughs> oh, great. So it's from when you got your offer letter and your cause, it took like two to three weeks to get to Torbay. Yes, yes. Uh, it's only two weeks. I think it. Um, That's great. Yeah, it's only take two weeks to um, reach Tobe. Okay. Yes. So what did you th what did you think when you finally reached Tobe? How was that? So it was a <laughs> long cherished dream of my life actually uh, to come to UK. So yeah. anyway, uh, when I came here, so it was like um, a uh, happy fulfillment of my dream. <laughs> Of course. So it was fine. Um, so I think uh, we have came here together with a uh, 13 members of, um, yeah, 13 members. I think yeah. I'm, I am the only one. <laughs> I, I was know. the only one male candidate. So you, you know, were, <laughs> weren't you? Do you remember yeah. when we had that, when we had that call and there was all the girls on there and you were the only guy yeah. and yes, you were like, am I the only <laughs> Yeah, that also uh, caused me a lot of mental stress because nobody has in contact with me. Uh, so when you created one WhatsApp group, do you remember that one? So you have created one WhatsApp group uh, for the cohort, a September cohort like that. So nobody has in contact with me uh, in the group. So I have <laughs> raised some concerns <laughs> to send you some mails. I know. So you have rectified. Yeah, you and Hannah rectified my uh, problems. Anyway, yeah. uh, since then, uh, it was really fine because uh, some... I, I 
I started to feel like somebody was here to take care of us, our concern. Because if oh. I asked any concerns or raised any concerns, definitely uh, my voices are heard. Of so course. I'm so happy. Yeah, I, I, I was so happy to uh, be here. So when I, I came, care about you, but you moved in with um with another chap, didn't you? That was um was he working in radiology? You shared a, an apartment, didn't you? Uh, who uh, are you talking about? The uh, guy who has given me the number when no. I was in India? No, no, no. When you moved into the the hospital accommodation, didn't you live yeah. with another gentleman that worked in radiology? No. No, actually, I was I was alone <laughs> in my accommodation. Okay. That, was an another, that was an another disaster, you know. So when I was, um, when I came from my uh, place, I left my parents and my best friends, everyone there. And when I came here, I feel like I was alone. So unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I was accommodated uh, as single accommodation in a... Yeah. Uh, in a very good actually the accommodation was very nice uh, they have provided every each and everything so i never felt uh, discomfort except the loneliness and it was don't you know and it was we were still you were still isolating from covid weren't you when you came over yes yes um, we have yeah during were that time pork, we have weren't to... you and i brought you some chicken do you remember yes yes i remember <laughs> <laughs> during that time we have to isolate for 10 days i think uh, when we are coming from india we need to isolate uh, self isolated for 10 days so yeah. um, i was there uh, self isolated yes. for 10 days a yes. lot i know yeah that must have been really really lonely for you because obviously the girls were all paired up together weren't they but because yes. you were the only the only gentleman you had to be on your own which must have been really hard yeah so when you came out of isolation and you were shown your ward, what did you think? So I think uh, during the isolation time itself, um, we have some uh, chat with our uh, manager. Meet, meet, uh, I, I still remember the name of that program. I think meet, meet and greet, greet with your manager. Like that one program yes. you have yes. arranged, that was really wonderful because before we are going to the ward, uh, we had a chance to uh, meet our manager and we have to express our uh, views and our concerns and our, um, what I have to say. So our fears, everything I can ventilate to her during yeah. that time. So yeah. she was absolutely, I, I, I don't know what to say. She was really nice, nice manager. She Still was, I can yeah. say that she, she was absolutely very good. Uh, so uh, she was so friendly. So that there itself, I feel like, oh, I am so comfortable. So I can manage uh, in ward. Like that, I have got a really um, great, uh, what I have to say, motivation from my ward manager. Good. And what's your what's your life like outside of work? What would you do on the day on a day off, or if you're free on the weekends? What have you done with your spare time so far? Yeah, that's the only thing I still. <laughs> Still, I need to find out. The thing is, uh, nobody is there. So at least in India, so um, when we are getting free time, so when we are getting off times, we would go together with my best friends uh, yeah. somewhere else. So at least we would sit together and talk something like something. So uh, that would be great, uh, great time. So when I came here, I didn't have I didn't have any friends here. Uh, still, I'm telling I don't have any friends here. So um, it's very um, hard to spend time when I get off times. So what I have to do is uh, what I have to do is um, so um, so recently I have got a friend from radiology. Uh, he's from the say he's from uh, India. Is he from uh, Kerala? He, yeah, Kerala. His Lovely. name is Jaffa. So when I got him, uh, so. Um, so we are spending time together actually Good. so we are going uh, going beach and we are going for some shopping and we are going to uh, look after some um, places like he knows some some places very well than me because he reached here before uh, 3 months than me so he right. is well aware of the places so i um, we uh, we have gone together to uh, see some sceneries some places some beaches yeah so we need I to get you like some that. We need to get some some gentlemen from Kerala to come to Torquay to come and be Sreeja's friend. Yeah, that would be great. So I'm <laughs> waiting for some of yeah, I'm waiting for some of them uh, because if some uh, boys come together, means it would be great, you know. 
yeah i'll try i'll try and work on that for you and if 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 you are watching and you're a male nurse from carolyn you want to come and be sarita's friend then uh send us a message we can get you we can sort that out yeah i i have got one friend from um tamil Nadu. actually it's it's not in not from kerala he's from yeah. tamil Nadu. i yeah. i have i have had a chat with him uh so i think he has completed his uh he has successfully in his interview with the Tobey hospital i think so i am waiting for him after um after our chat now when we're off camera send me his email address and i'll, I'll check his progress for you i can do that that's fine I'll no, let you know. okay. yeah, of course. I will, I will. so how did you find your oski exam so uh to be frank i think we have already had a discussion regarding this we uh, have so yeah, we have. A, so the thing is, uh, OSCE exam was not that much hard as everyone thinks. <laughs> I come to know that because uh, anyway, I have attended twice. Uh, that's not a not at all a matter. But the thing is, if we get uh, an adequate time for uh, preparing, that means uh, so you have provided um, good uh, what uh, what to say. Um, like the evidence yeah yeah uh, we have uh, you have provided good training sessions yeah. but however the training session was really uh the time period time period was very less so that means uh, only five days i have we have got only five days so um within that time period uh, i couldn't get enough time to practice more so that might be the reason i lost one um skill in oski Okay. So um, apart from that, the um, ev apart from that, everything was fine. So yeah, later I got yeah later I got some time from my um, what VAT manager. She's really she was really helpful during my OSCE examination. So she has given me annual ex annual leave for uh, preparing my exam for the she gave second study leave, didn't yeah. She? Yeah. She asked me yeah, she asked me, she provided me um, maximum resources to do my uh, practices. So it was a really great help from my colleagues as well as my manager. Glad you were supported. And the exam yeah. itself was, it? I mean, I know you were really stressed about it, but looking back now, was the exam OK? Yeah, it was OK. Actually, <laughs> as I said before, it, it's nothing. The thing is, uh, we need to concentrate some points uh, during the exam. Like when we are doing some skills, especially some skills like uh, a and T, we need to give more concentration to the particular skill because they right. definitely, definitely assess thoroughly in that procedure because that procedure is closely related to the uh, patient. Uh, patient. That means though if you are if you are not doing that procedure correctly, definitely that would harm the patient and as well as the colleagues. So we need to give more concentration to the ANTT procedure. Apart from yes. the other procedures, I think everything is fine. Only yeah. this thing is a bit complicated. So I okay. have attended twice. So you worked it out the first time and you knew what you needed to focus on the second yeah. time. <laughs> so now you've passed your, um, your OSCE and you've got your PIN. What's next for you? So, uh, as I said, it was like a dream. Uh, so I have, when we got the pin, when we are getting the pin, so we, we would feel like, uh, oh, so uh, we have finished the entire process of our, uh, this uh, NMC process. We have finished. No, it's our just NMC beginning. Process. Yeah. Just and beginning. Like, yeah. And it's, you know, actually I'm telling about the NMC process, the hard process we are starting, started from our India and it's finished, almost finished. And we became a newborn RN in, in, RN in UK. Yeah, you're a newborn RN. So yeah. the possibility is endless. You can, you know, you can go to university, you can study further, you can go into a speciality. The yeah. NHS world is your oyster, really, isn't it? You can do whatever you want to do now. Yes. Good, good. And have you got any top tips for anyone that is in the same position that you were in back home? Um, top tips like uh, so. Uh, what kind of tips you are asking? Like um, uh, sort of, you know, have your C CV all kind of ready, or um, you know, make sure that you you do your CBT, or make sure that you've got you know high scores on your IELTS. What what would you say is you think is really important for people to do? So I think, uh, so when we are starting our, I think uh, nowadays the COVID uh, situations has changed. So yes. the processing, I think the processing ha has been, uh, in uh, what I have to say, the processing are um, not that much delayed as, no. as mine. 
So no. I think uh, it's better to attend the interview later. The interview it would be nice to get uh, the documents correct, like uh, apply for the um, uh, this one uh, Kerala Nursing Council. So in India, so usually from Kerala, what we have to do is after after get, getting the interview, we need to start our processing like NMC first stage. So we need to apply for the um, Nursing Council for getting the documents for the verification with the NMC. So that yeah. are the things we should do um, very uh, fast. So yeah. what, if you are doing the uh, if you are doing the things very fast, then the processing would also would be very fast. Yeah. Otherwise. We've had um, so we're working with um, I told you before we're working with the um, Train Nurses Association of India, um, the T N A I and they're great. And we've had a couple of nurses from them. And actually, from passing the interview to being in the country, it's been eight weeks. Oh, okay. So it's a really fast process now. We've really managed wow. to, to to streamline it. So yeah, That's it's, great. It's, it's yeah, it's not six months anymore. It's um, it's about eight weeks. So yeah. Yeah, that's really great. <laughs> good. Good. Oh, thank you so much for your time today. It's been lovely chatting to you. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, have a have the, a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you soon. And uh, one more thing, I would like to say that those who are watching this video, <laughs> please forgive my English because I am. Uh, you know, the thing is, so when one more thing, I would like to say, uh, Laura. The thing of is, so when, uh, when I was in India. So um, I have studied this OET examination. Now I thought, though, this is English. So so uh, it was very different when I came here. So yes. actually the English, which I learned from India, uh, from OET is not <laughs> the real English when I came here. So it's absolutely different. So the uh, persons who is coming here, I think some of them are very good at English. I know that very well. But some people like me is still there. So, um, so when we are coming here, it's absolutely different to different to uh, catch up the accent of everyone because Devon is a multi accent. I think it's a multi accent, <laughs> a bunch of multi accents. So each day you will be encountered with a new accent. So it was very difficult for me to uh, catch up the accent for the first one month. Still, Literally. I am struggling. No, yeah. your English is very good. It is very good. I, I can understand you. Everybody can understand you. You've got great English, so please don't worry about that. You <laughs> yeah, are very good. I'm, I am really thank you. And one more thing is, so in, in Britain, so everyone, like Laura, everyone would appreciate our English. Even if it is wrong, they would really appreciate. So you don't worry. So if you are not uh, that much good in English, you don't worry because they are really helpful. So even if we are saying anything wrong, they would appreciate and they would encourage us to speak up. So don't worry. It's absolutely fine. I think I feel uncomfortable when I am speaking with uh, my uh, my friends from Kerala. That means in India. So I'm so happy to speak with a British because they are they, they are not going to they are not going to criticize you they are not going to find out your grammatical mistakes they are not going to find out your spelling mistakes they will encourage they would definitely encourage but if i am speaking to my native they would definitely uh, they definitely do a postmortem of my english language and they will they would find each and every mistake so i'm so happy here so i am trying my level best to improve my english so to the guys who is watching this video, I am uh, giving you a message that please don't worry. You can come here and learn your language. Don't worry. Everyone is very supportive here. Yeah, but still pass your OET. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, still you need to pass OET. But when you are coming here, so it's they would really help helpful. So don't worry. So they yeah. are really helpful, really helpful. Yeah, no, I mean, it's only it's only going to benefit the wards, isn't it? Yeah, and one more thing I would like to say, uh, my ward, regarding my ward, uh, my colleagues, they are absolutely fine. They are not going to judge you. They are not going to criticize you. They are not going to ignore you. They are not going to avoid you. They are really grateful. They are really supportive. And I don't know how what to say. Uh, I was like, oh my God, um, how I am going to survive like this? I survive here because everybody is Britain natives and I don't know um, if they would accept me. So okay. these are all the thoughts which are uh, going through my mind initially when I came here to my ward. But it was nothing. They are really friendly. They are really helpful. So don't worry. You can, 
you will get a great <laughs> career ahead in Tobey Hospital. Warm welcome. Yeah, warm a warm welcome. welcome. Oh, yes. welcome. Oh, no, definitely. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm so glad that you're so happy. Um, I will see you soon. And thank Bye. you so much for your time. Bye, Laura. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Take care. Bye.